Well, some rare encouraging news now from the conflict in Syria. After 600 days under siege, civilians in Homzo city now have a way out, thanks to the UN's establishment of a humanitarian corridor into the city. The route will also be used to bring aid to civilians still trapped there. Mohammed Jamjoun joins us uh, now uh, from Beirut with more on this operation. I mean, the details yesterday were very vague, but presumably the parties have all agreed now. Um, do we know what is actually going to take place when it comes to this evacuation of people and getting help in? Yeah, there's still a lot of questions, Fanula, surrounding what exactly is going on the ground in Homs. What we know is that there have been aid buses, vehicles that have transported uh, civilians out of the old city in Homs. This is an area of homes that has not only been under siege for over 600 days, but they haven't received any aid uh, until today for over a year. Uh, so this is an area where the people that have resided, that have been trapped there, have really been encountering a humanitarian disaster. We've been told by officials that at least three busloads full of people have been transported out of the old city and that a humanitarian corridor has been established so that some aid at least can be delivered whether or not evacuations are still happening at this hour, it's unclear. How many people have been transported out of the old city? Also unclear. UN officials on the ground, unreachable at this hour. While there is a glimmer of hope today because after weeks of negotiations, protracted, difficult negotiations, finally there was a breakthrough. Finally a ceasefire was able to take hold and the warring sides agreed that people could be transported out of the old city. How long it will last, how many people will be taken out and given medical care or food aid or medical supplies, really that's still a very big question at this hour. Many of the people I've spoken with said they hope that this ceasefire will last at least a few days, but really it's just a lot more questions at this hour than there are answers. Fanula. All right. We do know, Mohammed, that the Syrian government in Damascus has agreed to go to the next round of talks in Geneva. What is taking place in Homs now? Is it possible that that can be considered in any way a confidence-building measure? Can it be used as a template for other evacuations around the country? Or are there just too many factors involved in each situation? Fanula, that's a very good question. I must say there is still a lot of skepticism uh, from the opposition activists that I've been speaking with and other residents in Syria close to Homs uh, as to how long uh, this aid effort can last. Uh, there is so much mistrust amongst both sides uh, in the Syrian conflict. Uh, the fact of the matter is it took so much international pressure put on both the regime and the opposition to get them to come to even a tentative agreement that a ceasefire could be attempted so that aid could be delivered. That took several weeks. Now you're finally seeing the fruits of all that negotiation, but the people I'm talking to really aren't hopeful that this will, will last too long. And the fact of the matter is, even though some aid has apparently been delivered today, this is really the tip of the iceberg. We've gotten so many horrific reports as to what is happening inside Homs these last few weeks, these last few months. They've said that they'll need a lot more than just a few hours of aid deliveries. They need this humanitarian corridor and this flow of aid to last for a much longer time before the people that have been besieged inside the old city will actually see any results that could help them. Fanula.